like you were the cutest couple ever. And that rock, whoa. I could see that thing from outer space. Good job. You know, you could see our love from outer space. <sighs> One of the things that I was really excited about when I got the script by Kevin Costello was that he wrote an Indian wedding into this. And it's a big deal for the hotel. This might be their biggest society event in many years. I very much think she deserves a big, impressive wedding to impress Prita and Prita's family. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. What do you think about elephants? You have elephants. Peacocks. Flamingos. Bengali tigers. Butterflies. All the different species you could possibly have in one room. They're animated, so no animals were harmed in the making of this film. Smile for the drone cam. Drone cam? Wow. And everything seems to be going just great until... Everything bad that could happen in the wedding goes wrong. The elephants were a great choice. Then all of a sudden, hell breaks loose. It's a pretty big, very expensive disaster. It just kind of gave us this canvas to go crazy on what we uh, bring to life. Welcome, please. So it's incredibly massive. Massive Endeavor is my middle name. Really? The wedding sets have been spectacular. Indian weddings, they're the most lavish style wedding, mainly because of the colors. The colors were so vibrant and beautiful. The fuchsia and the orange together is very opulent and bright. I know, it's fabulous. We've got clashing colors and flying petals. It's incredibly beautiful. With Hindu weddings, Normally, the gowns take 10 months to make because they're all hand done. So there was a little bit of a moment of panic. <laughs> There's so many moving parts. Oh, wow. We will get designs from the art department based on what they're actually going to build on set. So our 3D models will represent as accurately as we can so that when they go down and shoot, they can see where to put cameras, where the characters are going to be, how fast it's going to take Tom to run from one part of the set to another. That becomes a guide for us on the set. The way the animators explain it is that what I improv and what I do physically allows them to be able to animate even more, which is a cool experience, which I've never had that control in. So you're kind of a creator and an actor. Have fun. They're doing a great job of changing it as we go and tailor-making some of these scenes for the, the actors that are doing it. Let's get one more of those, one more of those. When it came to the elephant, we made it a point to actually build the frame of an elephant and actually put it in the space so that our actors could see what the height of it was. Never forget that ultimately there's gonna be an elephant there. LOL. <laughs> there's a wedding cake, a huge wedding cake that we have in the, in the scene. My first day of filming was uh, the cake scene. Ta-da! And then that one, like, you like can... right here, maybe. It's just destroying the very foundation of what he doesn't want to destroy, which is this huge wedding cake that he's invested in his mind all of his life. That this is the peak of his career. Three, two, one, action! Ah! 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 Well, this is a disaster. It was really a wonderful exercise in physical comedy. One crazy story was we had to use a, a soft material, and what we found is sometimes the cake started to lean a certain way before uh, King could even get to it. Bug. Filming destruction, you know, the, the first thing is you could probably only have one or two tanks. We had a lot of breakaway stuff. We had wind machines. We had all kinds of things that allowed us to create some real destruction. When I'm acting, I have to pretend that I'm upset that they've destroyed the wedding when the child in me is like, <laughs> oh yeah, boys. It took about 10 years to shoot the scene from start to finish. Just, just want to see if you were, you were paying attention. It took us probably a, a month altogether to shoot this scene because we had to get all these little nuances of stunt people flying over this or flying over that. The bride's falling off the elephant, so I'm helping catch her head to make sure he doesn't hit the floor. Um, action! What? So we're just making sure everyone's safe. I think I might have just pulled this off. It was actually such a pleasure to do. I've never done a Hindu wedding before, so I really enjoyed that moment of learning. Um, Tim Story, um, I'm in charge of after parties. With the what now? Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm really happy with the way it turned out because you really feel like these cartoon animals are inside this room. Even though in the wedding, it ends up a complete disaster.
they realize that they only need each other to be perfect and together in this world. So it's a happy ending, folks.